tons of road flooding in Pueblo West where we had over five inches of rainfall reported and flash flood warnings of course being issued in this area. This is Purcell and there was more than just one or two road closures, multiple road closures in Pueblo County and some of those top rain totals again we're in the areas where the storm just sat and it did not move for a couple of hours. So it's mostly in the northern Pueblo West region that we saw all of that flash flooding and also portions of Avondale did see some road closures. Another area that did see some house flooding was Crestone in Sawatch County. So we had those slow moving storms yesterday. Only a couple of them produced that caliber, caliber of rainfall, but we could see something like that again today. Maybe just one or two storms really hitting an area hard, and the rest of us just seeing some clouds in this body shower through the afternoon. So going through that future cast today, by this afternoon and early evening, you'll notice numerous showers in the mountains. A few of those will make it to I-25 and the Plains, but it won't be quite as much activity for the I-25 corridor today. But of course, certainly still possible and in the forecast for this afternoon. Now, generally, we are waking up now with a red hue in the sky. If you're going outside in Colorado Springs, you might notice that smell of wildfire smoke this morning. It's not from fires locally, it's from fires out west. Uh, but meanwhile, we are waking up quite humid after yesterday's rain in Pueblo. 64 degrees right now. So all the smoke is coming from Idaho, Oregon, California and it has moved into the state of Colorado. Good thing is it's going to gradually clear out through the daytime. So it will be thickest right now and then we'll start to see clearer conditions and you won't be smelling that smoke later this afternoon. And we also don't have an air quality alert in place in our region. There is an air quality alert though in place for the Denver Metro from that smoke. So temperatures right now, 60s for most of us. This afternoon will be warmer than yesterday. We'll have a bit more sunshine to work with. And then we're looking forward to maybe an isolated storm on Monday. Chances a little bit lower. Then we peak on Wednesday with our heat up to 91 in the springs. Chance of afternoon thunderstorms returns by the end of the week and early next weekend. For Pueblo, looking forward to an afternoon storm again possible today. Peaking at 98 by Wednesday. We'll get kind of hot and dry through the middle of the week before more, more moisture returns to the plains by next weekend. For Canyon City, I am tracking afternoon thunderstorms lasting through about Monday. And we'll have a period of drier, hotter weather through the middle of the week. And then we sandwich on another chance of showers and thunderstorms by Friday and Saturday. So kind of a symmetrical forecast here. We have still some shower chances for the next couple of days in Woodland Park. And overall, more moisture will last longer into the mountains for the seven day outlook. And then we'll start to see showers and thunderstorms return by the end of the week. Renee.